Hi everyone, it's Braden here for gshelper.com and this is part one of a new video series that uh, I'm redoing from uh, a long time ago and that is how to uh, get all of your certificates and provisioning profiles uh, set up, downloaded, installed so you can start submitting to Apple or getting your game on the device uh, via ad hoc or something like that. So um, I'm redoing this because Apple, since our last video series, has redone their website and everything looks new and things are in different spots. The concepts are the same but everything looks new so that's why I'm redoing this because I've gotten a lot of messages asking to have this video series redone uh, so that the new users are able to follow along and uh, get their devices and everything set up and their games eventually published to the App Store. So we're gonna do that now this is part one I'm not sure uh, how long the series will be. Hopefully we can do it in two videos uh, so stick around and I hope this is helpful to you. So first things first we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to request a certificate on our Mac so if you click command and space at the same time it will open up spotlight and you can go ahead and type in uh, keychain and you'll see the keychain access application pop up and we're just gonna go ahead and click that so it opens the application uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and click the keychain access name in the top left and that'll open uh, a drop down menu and we're going to want to uh, put our mouse inside the certificate assistant and then we're going to click this request a certificate from certificate authority. And it'll open up the certificate assistant box and uh, this is where you're going to have to fill out some stuff really quick. It says uh, user email address. so. Uh, make sure you type in the uh, email that you use to set up your developer account with Apple. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Uh, enter your common name. And then it says request as, uh, we're going to click the save to disk. So that way we can save it to our desktop because we will need to uh, locate this later on. Uh, certificate signing request uh, yeah I'm gonna save it on the desktop you can save it anywhere you want but just make sure you know where you saved it uh, so you can get to it later on uh, click save and after it's done saving you can see it's uh, right here on my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and click done and I'm gonna go ahead and quit the keychain access by clicking uh, command Q or you can just right click and click Okay, so next we're going to have to go to the iOS developer site. So I just googled iOS developer portal and you'll see the developer.apple.com. going to go ahead and click that. And I'm already signed in. I'll sign out. This is what you'll see. And you're going to click log in in the top right. Go ahead and enter in all of your information and click sign in. It'll take you to this page and under the iOS developer program uh, there's multiple options. We're going to click the certificates, identifiers, and profiles. And this is pretty much where the new stuff comes in. So it used to look a lot different. Uh, the concepts are the same, but we'll just go ahead uh, and go through the new uh, interface here. So you'll see the certificates, identifiers, devices, and provisioning profile folders. Uh, we're going to click the certificate folders first. I already have uh, a certificate ready and installed and everything because I have active applications on the App Store uh, but you will not so uh, I'm not sure if you'll see an empty screen like this uh, with a button in the top right to create a new certificate or you might see something like this where it says getting started with iOS certificates um, and there might not be a, um, a create new certificate button up here uh, but you can also click the certificate signing request um, button down here. Uh, but I just go ahead and look for this plus symbol in the top right. Uh, we're going to click that to create a new certificate. Alright, so under production we're going to click the App Store and Ad Hoc. Um, this way we can distribute our apps to the devices for testing. Um, I'm not a big game style viewer guy. I like to test on Ad Hoc. I've actually never used a viewer uh, because testing on the Ad Hoc uh, devices uh, will give you the best uh, representation of how the game will run on uh, devices when it's published to Apple. So I'm going to click the App Store and Ad Hoc tick box under production. Um, and then this is very important. It says intermediate certificates uh, and it says worldwide developer relationship. Uh, we need to click this WWDR file 
uh, we need to download the worldwide developer certificate and it'll download into the downloads folders you'll see I already have uh, three downloaded that's because I went through um, this process not too long ago uh, I've done it multiple times so I already have three but you only have one so after you download that file and you have the App Store and ad hoc uh, selected click continue and then it'll bring you to this page about uh, requesting a certificate which is what we did just a minute ago so we can just continue on to the next page and then it'll ask you to upload that certificate request so go ahead and click choose file and I saved mine to the desktop so I'm gonna double click that and it'll upload uh, and then click generate and it'll take a few seconds to generate after it's done generating you can click download because we need to download this and I already have three downloaded this is the iOS distribution certificate um, you'll only have one downloaded click done after you finish downloading and you'll see your new certificate installed I have two uh, you only have one I'll end up revoking this later on after the uh, video series is complete so uh, next what we need to do is open up finder and go to the downloads folder and you'll see two files you'll see the Apple WW uh, certificate and the iOS distribution certificate right here now this is important you need to make sure that the keychain application is closed uh, and then what you're gonna do is double click the Apple WWDR certificate and that'll open up keychain access and it'll add whoops it'll add the WWDR uh, certificate to your login keychain uh, you'll see it right here now it's not adding a new one in for me because I already had one uh, in this application uh, you you'll see it pop up if you don't see it popped up uh, you might be getting an error and it might say something like uh, trying to access the root uh, system roots which is right here uh, and so you might be getting that error and it might not be adding the file to your keychain so what you need to do a workaround for that if you don't see this file is to have keychain open and have finder open and actually click and drag the Apple WWDR certificate into the login keychain right here and you'll just release your mouse button and it'll add to uh, this right here and then you'll be able to see it okay so once you have the Apple WWDR certificate installed go ahead and quit the keychain access by clicking command Q on your keyboard and then double click the iOS distribution certificate and that will add it to uh, the keychain here and you'll see it uh, iOS distribution iPhone distribution um, after that you can go ahead and quit keychain and that is it for now that's the end of the first video uh, in the next one we'll go ahead and set up some app IDs and some device um, for the provisioning profiles and then we'll eventually get to the provisioning profiles and then after all that's done and it's all installed uh, we'll go through submitting through game salad generating through game salad and then eventually getting it onto the device so I hope you guys have enjoyed this first video uh, keep an eye out and continue on to the second video when it's out I hope you guys have enjoyed it it's been helpful to you and we'll see you in the next video